Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Gwentes, the show where we talk about right now the new cards added in the Way of the Witcher expansion. We're going through these faction by faction. We've already done Monsters and Squiretel and today we're going to be looking at the new Syndicate cards because uh, they've become rather toxic. Let's dive in. And now we have them, the new cards for Syndicate. So mainly focusing on poison and a little bit of tribute abilities, but of course mainly the category is Salamandra. That's the clear, um, well, team that they went with. All of these are Salamandra units. And uh, we're gonna dive into each of their abilities a little bit closer right now. So first up, we have the Salamandra Lackey. Four provisions, four power, of course, a very basic engine card, as they did with the, pre the other factions. So at the end of your turn, if you gained at least one coin during this turn, boost self by one. So just a simple booster, as long as you've made any money in this turn. So that is simple, not much else to say about that. So let's move on to the next one, because they get a bit more grosser off to this um after this one because after this one because this is the salamandra mage you might actually find this man very attractive um, but tribute force if you pay four coins damage three adjacent enemy units by two that's good for like um against swarm decks um but it is a cost of tribute for you gain two extra coins basically two extra points on your coin spendage um, but on the other hand, if you have of the books, which is what these cards mostly synergize with, you only need to spend three coins. So you get basically double the value for your coins. But on Adrenaline 5, he has another ability. So if you have five cards or less in your hand, whenever you pay a tribute ability, you gain an extra coin, which is a, basically a simpler version of an ability of basically the strongest card in this edition. Uh, and that we're going to talk about in a minute. But Salamandra Mage, a nice offensive card. Then we have, as I said, the more grosser cards. So the Salamandra Abomination. We're getting into the experiments. Look at that thing right and gurgle. But Tribute 1, so basically for free if you go it off the books. Poison Self. Whenever this unit is poisoned, boost Self by 2. And I think... I haven't been able to test this out yet, but I think this applies only whenever you poison it. So that means that it's not as long as it's poisoned, it's going to boost itself by two at the end of your turn or something like that. No, it is when it actually gets poisoned, it boosts itself by two, which synergizes nicely with its adrenaline ability. So adrenaline four at the end of your turn purifies self, so which means you can poison it, gain those two extra points of boost. And then at the end of the turn, it will purify itself so it won't be vulnerable to another double poison. So it can be destroyed with poison alone, which is very, very nice because it also synergizes very well with a few of the other cards that we're going to be looking at today. Then another failed experiment, but literally called failed experiment. At the end of your turn, lose one coin. If you have no coins, damage self by one instead. But if it's poisoned, you disable this ability, which means that this, if you end the round with this, you have eight points. If you don't, um, it's gonna, because you lose that one point, um, it's gonna start losing points the longer it goes on, unless it's been poisoned. So it also synergizes very well with the poison abilities, the self-poisoning that Syndicate, well, basically Salamandra is, uh, is going for. But yeah, it's risky. It's It's almost feels like a monster card with that high base power because it is nine that is very important it is nine power so very very nice just low provision card but probably something for the end of the round unless you can poison it of course and then we get stolen mutagens a new crime card which is also designated as a salamandra crime card so you pick a mutagen uh, and depending on the mutagen you go for, you get a different effect. And if you control at least three Salamandra units, you also gain three coins. But the red mutagen gives you a four point damage hit on an enemy unit of your choice. If you go for blue, you poison an allied unit and gain five coins, which is pretty nice, especially since some of the cards we just talked about synergize very well with getting poisoned yourself. Or green, boost an allied unit by four and give it Veil, which indicates a very cool synergy with Veil as well. I think the deck that I'm building with these cards also gives us a lot of Veil options, because that basically allows you to poison your own units without actually gaining poison, which is 
yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how that works together. But um, that's the stolen mutagens card, a simple five provision crime card with a few options that gives you a variety of effects. It kind of goes back to the spontaneous evolution card we got from Monsters, just five provision uh, special card with different types of effects for your choice. And we can also get the the mutagen art here down below. So next up, the first of the Blindheim brothers, because there's more of them. A uh, Gellard Blindheim, uh, seven provisions, but five power, gives you two coins when you play, and for one coin, you actually can poison an allied unit and boost it by two. Luckily, there is a cooldown on this card, because you'll see in a minute why, but it's very important that there's a cooldown on this card, because otherwise you could keep going. Um, so the one poison gives you two, um, two points, so you get basically double up on your coins again. So you spend one coin, gain two points, and of course that poison might trigger other abilities. Why is this card so important? You'll see in not the next card, I think it's a card after that. No, no, it is this card. So the brother Roland Weinheim actually reacts to units getting poisoned. So whenever a unit is poisoned, he also has seven power by the way, which is very important. Whenever a unit is poisoned, gain two coins. Very, very powerful engine card this, because you will be constantly poisoning your own units and your opponent's units, which also counts, unless you trigger his adrenaline ability, so five or lower, whenever an allied unit is poisoned, gain two coins instead. So if he's still on the board at that point, he will only trigger when you poison your own units, not your opponent's units, which I think is a good balance for this card. If it would have been able to gain coins whenever a unit is poisoned for the entire match, that would have been a bit too strong, I think. Um, but yeah, very cool addition and synergizes very well with, of course, his brother. And that's why this cooldown is so important, because that means if you use one coin to poison an allied unit, you gain two coins from his brother if they're both on the field. If you could keep doing this, you basically gain coins and points all the while, so that just keeps going up with no upper ceiling. So that's why the cooldown was very important on this card, and luckily they called this because otherwise... That would have been a bit painful. And then we got the location for Syndicate, the Salamandra Hideout, also resilient as the other locations, gets the deployability to spawn one of the four bronze units that we just talked about. And on order, this is very cool. You move a poison from an ally to another unit. So basically you can say, yeah, my abomination is poisoned at the moment, but I don't need that poison anymore. Let's move that poison up to a unit from my opponent. And then maybe poison it again in one go. So this basically allows you to double poison a unit in the same turn, which is uh, gonna be good for offensive abilities, because uh, poison, yeah, you know I don't like poison all that much, but uh, it seems to be pushed really hard in Syndicate here. So if your opponent doesn't have Purifies, they're gonna be in trouble. Especially if we're talking about the next card, because the next card is the Salamander. Uh, gives you one profit, but I'll move to the bottom of the card immediately. Increase the profit by one for every allied Salamandra unit. So possibly if you have eight Salamandra units on the field, you gain the maximum of nine profit, which also allows you to immediately use its tribute ability. Its tribute nine ability poison all units on the battlefield instead of just poisoning one, which is its base um, deployability. All the units including your own, so be careful when you use this card. And it's actually really cool because if you set it up right with Sienna, you could basically do this twice and clear the entire board aside from failed units. Um, I tried to do this, it is possible, but I feel like you're probably better off with having a more balanced deck because Sienna is of course very high provisions and uh, very weak to get targeted, so uh, yeah. This is, but it is a cool combo. It, it just triggers those really, really cool combos. But if you set the board up on your opponent's side beforehand, you can start poisoning individual units. If your opponent doesn't have purifies, they will be staying on the board. And when you hit them with the salamander, all those units are gonna go uh, in one go. So very, very powerful card for only nine provisions. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to using this card. And then the last one is, of course, the powerful, the most powerful card in the edition of the Way of the Witcher cards for Syndicate, and it is Fallen Rayla. So Black Rayla, uh, basically the final stage of her evolution. We haven't seen her second stage of her evolution just yet. Would have been a cool evolution card, by the way, because she starts out as Black Rayla. You've seen her in Thronebreaker. She's mentioned in the books as well. 
And then she actually moves to White Rayla, and then you get Fallen Rayla, which is, yeah, it's gonna be... It, it's a really cool character that just keeps being, being brought back, but she's a horrible woman. Um, don't, don't, she's, she's just a horrible woman. But five power, three profit, and if you use those three coins immediately to trigger her tribute ability, she gains Veil. So that harkens back to what I said before. Veil is very useful in this um, archetype because you can block your own poisoning, um, giving you the benefits but not the downsides of actually being poisoned. Um, but if you have only three cards or less in your hand, you also gain points on Rayla uh, equal to the amount of coins you spent on tribute abilities. Which means that if you use off the books on this card, for example, you only need to use two coins to gain, uh, trigger the tribute ability and you gain two points, not three points. So it's not the tribute on the card, it's the tribute that you actually spend. So even if you use uh, Madame Louisa, which gives you a free tribute, you will not gain any uh, boosts on Rayla with that because you haven't spent any coins. So you actually need to spend coins for this ability to trigger, but still very, very powerful ability. That can ramp up rather quickly. And it also, I think it triggers on her own tribute ability. So if you uh, spend those three or two, depending on your uh, leader ability, you will get those points as well. But that is Fallen Rayla. So definitely keep in mind the Veil. The Veil options in uh, Syndicate right now with all the self-poisoning. That's going to be really, really powerful. So that's it for this episode, these card reviews of the Syndicate cards. Uh, but this is just the beginning. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the new Syndicate cards and what other combos that I might have neglected to mention. As I said, I haven't been able to play too much with the new cards just yet. I'm trying to record all these card reviews in one go, even though they're spread out over the week. But uh, yeah, let me know so we can discuss further in the comment section. So thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode of Gwentage. Goodbye.